guys, it's Dave, and no recipe required, and I've got a, a pork chop recipe for you. I just got back from the store with uh, with a few boneless pork chops. These are the guys you know, kind of cut off the bone. Um, they're about an inch and a quarter thick. One of the reasons I love these pork chops is they cook super fast. Really important though to get a good hard sear on the outside. That's where a lot of flavor comes from. And they got that kind of fat layer on the outside. It's also really important to render out some of that fat because doing that makes them super, super tasty. If you don't do that, they're either kind of raw or rubbery. Some people cut them off the pork chops. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to lose a ton of flavor if you do. I've got the grill fired up. It's going to take about eight minutes or so to cook these up. We'll let them rest. We'll show you how to do it. We'll show you how to get those grill lines on the pork chops as well. Super easy to do. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we're grilling some pork chops today. About half an hour or so before we're going to cook them. We're going to take them out. We're going to season them. With salt and pepper. That was my pepper. A good amount of salt. We're going to season on both sides uh, pretty liberally. If you want to add a different spice or another spice, you absolutely can. I got a little bit of paprika here. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit. I'm going to do the uh, do the other side. So I'm going to come back and uh, let these come up to room temperature. It won't take all that long. All right, guys, so we salted our um, pork chops, salted, seasoned, I'll say, our pork chops about 20 minutes ago. And I'm just going to coat them with uh, a little bit of olive oil here. I've got a spray bottle so I don't have to get my hands too messy, but just drizzle it on. If you don't, not a big deal. And I've got a grill preheating. We're going to go kind of medium high heat, maybe not quite as high as I would do um, a steak, uh, but pretty darn high, almost as high as it's going to go. And we're going to cook these off really quickly, um, and we're going to sear off that uh, that fat layer, render that out, make it super yummy. All right, so we've got our good hot grill. I already scraped it down a little bit. We've got our seasoned chops, and I'm going to lay mine down on an angle so I can get some nice looking grill marks on there. You got to have a nice preheated grill. Mine's been going for about 20 minutes or so. And the way you're going to get those marks is just leave the pork chops alone. Don't fiddle with them, don't mess with them, just set and walk away. You got that thin coat of oil on there. They're not going to burn, don't worry about it. Um, we're going to let them go for about four minutes on this side without touching them at all. All right, so I've not touched our pork chops. You can see that's how we're going to get that nice golden brown color and the grill marks. I'm going to go ahead and move it. I don't care too much about the second side because this first side is my presentation side. I mean, I don't care too much about getting the grill marks on there. See, we got them all nice there. Because we left them alone, they're not going to stick at all. I'm going to let these go for about three minutes on this side. These are about an inch and a half thick. And then for the last minute or so, I'm going to turn them on their side and just get this fat layer rinded off just a little bit more. Okay, so that second side doesn't take as long. And um, we definitely don't want to overcook pork. We want to bring it up to like 130, sorry, 140 or so. This is the, uh, the fat layer. I'm just going to put all three together. And if you got some asbestos hands or some long tongs, you can just kind of hold them like this. And we just want to get that fat edge rendered out a little bit. If you're lucky, you can get them to stand up like that, cool your hand down. That um, rendering is going to make that fat edible, essentially, and beyond edible. Really, really tasty. So literally, it's just going to take 45 seconds to a minute and a half or so on that side. Then I'm going to take them off and wash my cutting board. We're going to let them rest for about five minutes before we cut into them. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and plate up our pork chops. I'm doing mine. I got some wild rice. I've got our pork chops. Let me grab this guy right here. I also did some, um, some grilled broccoli, which I actually love. I think it's a great way to do broccoli. You just do a little pan, or sorry, do a little blanch on it and then uh, grill it off in the last second, like our plate. And then I've got a couple apples that I just sauteed down, as well a little bit of onion, we'll put that there. And we've got our grilled pork chop. You know what, let me get this broccoli over here. We'll make the pork chop the star. We'll make the plate nice and messy. Now let's go uh, cut it open and, uh, and see how we did. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and give our pork chop a try here. First, we're gonna cut it open. You wanna bring it up to about 140 degrees, kind of a, a little bit of medium, a slightly medium well be okay. That's gonna keep it nice, tender, and juicy. And if if I can if I can cut a piece off here, we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. And this one, yes, hit 
It is absolutely perfect. Um, really love it. Go ahead, give it a try. All right, so that was our boneless pork chops. Like I said, super easy to do. Like three or four minutes aside, super hot grill. Get those grill marks, render off the fat side, and uh, you are good to go. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how, uh, how it went in the comments, and I will see you next time on No Recipe Required.